This film does not represent a typical installation. The stub outs you see through the wall were not limited to two supply lines and a drain line, but were extra supply lines previously installed for the 50 gallon tank. Notice that you will only need a hot water line, a cold line, and a drain pipe to our tankless heater. Some of our heaters require dual or two 220 volt breakers. Verify that the breakers are the correct size for the heater you are installing. Install the breakers as close to the incoming power as possible to reduce light flickering. This installation film shows breakers for our H28-4 heater. This is a typical house that continued to run out of hot water with a single 50 gallon tank. Another 50 gallon tank was added to supply the homeowner's hot water needs. After shutting off the water supply, remove the old tanks and prepare the wall for the new, small, efficient tankless heater. Find the ideal spot for the heater. Measure and locate the position for the new heater. Locate the studs in the wall and mark for tankless heater location. If you do not have a backing plate, make sure the center screw hole is positioned on a stud. Create another hole in the heater if you must to make sure that the weight of the heater is supported and the unit is secured. Determine the plumbing layout and the amount of fittings and piping necessary to install the plumbing to the heater. Trim or add as necessary after measuring. As electricians know, there are numerous electrical disconnect possibilities. This example represents one configuration. If there is a need for a disconnect, verify that the power is off before continuing. These disconnects are sized in conjunction with the supplying circuit breaker and wire size necessary for this model of heater. Determine the size of flexible conduit and run it to the heater. In this particular heater, it will be necessary to run five number six wires, four conductors and one ground. The ends of the conductors are easily connected to the heater's specified lug locations, L1, L2, L3, L4. No internal wiring is necessary. Connect the four conductors and one ground wire to lug locations. 